Army Station by Panasonic. Hi guys, it's Wombat and not that long ago I did a video live stream of Project Japan version 0.4.0 .0. and that version has now finally gone live. And what used to be a very simple setup with just one asset file, a map file and a dev file has grown into a setup that con includes nine different mods in total and that has caused some confusion. So I figured I'm going to do a new video on how to set up Project Japan and I'm going to throw in a few additional mods as well, such as this beautiful Isuzu truck that I'm using today. I used it on my live stream as well. And I'm fully aware that don't everyone loves Dekotora like I do. So just as you, so that you know, you can use this Isuzu truck as a regular Isuzu truck as well. And so you don't have to configure it as a Decotora truck if you don't like that but I happen to like it it feels very Japanese it's part of the unique Japanese culture so I'm embracing that especially on my Japan uh, profile in any case this is gonna be there but there's also gonna be some regular truck mods as well don't worry about it and of course I'm gonna go through how you set up Project Japan itself as well so let's dive into that and figure out how you set up a completely brand new profile of Project Japan if you already have one skip that part and go directly to where you add the different mods to your Project Japan profile so let's start with the profile and the first thing you need to do is to create a name before you go into the mod manager. And inside the mod manager you find the Project Japan files. There are now, I might have said 9 earlier but it's actually 10 of them. So you add them in and that should be fairly simple. You can say they are numbered. So number 5 map, number 4 models 3, number 3 models 2, number two models one and number one def and then we had the additional files the add-ons file and they are named a and the number so we have a4 uh, a3 a2 and the two a1 files they are named the same because they are both accessories to your trucks so there you have the files and that is how you add them to your profile uh, for now, let's just keep on with only these tens files and I'm going to show you later on how you add the other additional mods that I'm using on my profile. They are completely optional, but let's uh, go take a look at that later. The background map, for instance. But for now, let's just confirm changes and create a or add a profile picture. Now I'm going to be a boy today there we go preferred truck design a company logo and a company name and before you click the create button you need to look at the playing module you need to change it from europe to japan.mbd very important step i'm not going to use a steam cloud uh, account either just click create in any case skip the wizard and let the game load for a little bit and then you select your headquarters. There are six cities to choose from. I'm probably just going to go with the default here. So yeah, that'll be fine. Click confirm selection. Let the skip the tutorial. Let the game load for a bit and you're off to do your very first haul. Now after completing this haul, you can start adding additional mods as well. Because now we know that the profile works. And as a bonus, here is my complete Project Japan profile with all the mods that I'm using on my Project Japan profile. And under normal circumstances, I would, of course, tell you exactly what these different mods are named. But as you can see, some of the names are very, very difficult, if not impossible to pronounce, at least for me. I'm not fluent in Japanese. So I'm just going to show you the list and I recommend that you download all of the mods if you're interested in having something similar to what I have and then just compare the thumbnails 
uh, from the mod manager with what I have in my active mods list. I'm sorry, but that is probably the best I can do. Just show you the list and let you do all the work yourself. It's probably quicker than both of us taking Japanese lessons. So there you have it, that is my video on the new version of Project Japan. Again, in the video description you find links to all the mods that I'm using in this video. And I've also included some Twitter accounts to people who make or retweet links to uh, Japanese mods for ETS2 and specifically for Project Japan. I think you'll find those Twitter accounts very interesting and I recommend that you follow them as well if you want to find more mods for Project Japan. In any case I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did give me a thumbs up if you haven't done so already subscribe as well and till next time take care everyone. Bye bye.